Hey everybody, this is Mike with Birdman Gaming, and sorry, it's uh, it's late again. I I'm, I'm still recuperating from last week and not getting a lot of sleep. So, um, like today, I think I got a grand total of like three, maybe four hours. But anyway, um, we're going to do a little bit of spoiler-free uh, reviews today. Like I said. And yes, the hair is getting long. It's I, I almost want to uh, wait until we hit 25 subscribers to cut it, but it's getting almost too long to wait anymore. Um, so it's probably going to be cut soon. I know I've said that before, and things have always came up, but it's getting too long for me, especially. I like having really short hair. Now the beard, this part of the beard will stay, probably get trimmed up, but the rest of the scruff is probably going to be gone. Um, so, that's where things are going right now. There's going to be an update tomorrow with uh, the state of the channel and how things are going. Um, things are actually looking interesting. And for that I thank every last one of you um let's see anything else I want to talk about tonight before jumping into the reviews um now that I can think of off the top of my head anyway before I get into the reviews of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this spoiler-free review series that I'm doing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after the ending of Game of Thrones yet. Uh, but I'm going to try and at least do something every Monday. Uh... And so here we go. First, before I get into the Game of Thrones, which I know that's what you guys are really here for, I wanted to let you know, um, if you don't know me personally, if you don't know the type of movies I watch or type of TV series or whatever, you may not know that I'm a very big horror movie aficionado. Um, I've been watching horror of one form or another since the early 1980s, since I was a kid. My mother raised me on horror movies, on video games, on, you know, on music, you know, have an appreciation for everything. So, yes, horror gives you more of an adrenaline rush and... So, I actually appreciate it more than other movies. But, here recently, the last decade or so, the horror comedy has started to make a comeback. With movies like uh, Scout's Guide to Surviving the Zombie Apocalypse, um, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, movies like that. And I'm a, I thoroughly enjoyed both of those films. And a year or so ago, there was another movie. It almost flew under my radar, called Happy Death Day. The movie was absolutely phenomenal. It was funny when it needed to be. It had great, a a great villain. Um. Groundhog's Day versus meets the Slasher. And it was fun. I like that kind of movie. You know? Something that actually keeps me engaged. So, flash forward to this year. And Happy Death Day to You came out. I'm not going to spoil anything. 
all I all I'm gonna say is it was actually as well, if not slightly better than the original. It had a decent plot. It had great twists. Stuff I wasn't expecting. Um, and, I, I mean, I just... I had a whole lot of fun with it. Um, and I'm probably going to watch it one or two more times, like I have with the original. It was... I just thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Yeah, there's some flaws. There's always flaws in horror movies or movies in general anyway. So... But, on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd give it a solid 4.5. Honestly, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. It was really fun. It was a good movie. I... Uh, I don't know if I was expecting it not to be, but it was actually a good movie. So I would definitely recommend it to those of you who enjoy a good comedy, maybe a horror movie occasionally or something. Definitely check it out. And now for Game of Thrones. Um, the only spoiler I will even hint at is the guest star uh, that's been blowing up all over social media whether it be Twitter, Facebook anywhere over the last 24 hours now and that is the Starbucks cup <laughs> somebody screwed up and left a Starbucks cup in a scene and it's been all over all over social media since the episode aired. Now, now that we got that out of the way, um, the episode started off somewhat somber, but was I, I understood where they were going with the with the episode, at least in, in the early first half hour I understood how they were building to where what eventually happened um do I agree with the course not necessarily but I understand the build toward that um the somber, uh, of course, the somber part at the very beginning was, it was well done. Actually had me tear up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, nothing like the Red Wedding, but it was, you spend a decade with these people. So, when there's a moment like that, you, you feel for them. Um, then we go to the second scene. The second scene was actually, it was fun. It was what I, ex what I would expect to happen that evening um, in that setting, of course. Um, there was a nice callback here and there to earlier seasons. You'll have to watch it to see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it, it was just, it was really, really good. Um, the episode overall depend uh, c considering the last two episodes felt a little flat but 
it ended on a note that's going to set up next week's and possibly, depending on how much happens next week, it will stretch even further. I know next week is supposed to be, I think, 80 minutes long. This week was 70, 74, 76. Um, last week's was 82. Last week's happened to have been the longest battle, battle sequence in film and television history. Considering the entire episode was one battle. Um, I think we're getting ready to hit a couple really, uh, of course, with next week, next week's episode being 80 or 81 minutes long, essentially we, at that, at the end of that episode, we are technically already six one hour episodes into the season with another uh, episode for the very end which honestly I'm expecting at least an hour and a half if not two hours long for a se series finale we have two episodes left um I'm not going to guess what's going to happen. I'm going to wait and watch like the rest of you. I'm excited. I know I, I was uh, reading earlier today that um, Martin and HBO are currently working on The Long Night, which is a prequel to Game of Thrones. Um... I'm, I think that they're going to be filming in the next couple of months for a spring of next year debut. In which case, I, of course, I'm going to be watching because the show, the, the, the entire world of Westeros and Asos, uh has such rich history thanks to uh, George Martin and so I want to explore that in more depth um, but yeah anyway that's my thoughts on this week's Game of Thrones and of course happy death day to you uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, State of the Channel. Uh, I'm also going to have a little bit of extra on tomorrow, but that's going to be tomorrow that I'm going to speak about it. Um, and again, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon to be notified when I uh, post something new. Um, comment down below, let me know how you like these little spoiler-free reviews. Um, and if you're, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering why I have my eyes closed a lot, it's because I, I, I covered that in a, in a older, uh, video. Basically, it's about my anxiety and... It's easier for me to talk to y'all with my eyes closed. <laughs> Public speaking phobia and whatnot. Um, also, always remember, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to each other. And until the next time, remember, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.